Now, conversely, the day in a day kitty unfolded like any other, with residents going about their normal activities. However, corporate organizations and businesses remained closed, shutting their services to customers. There was no evidence of compliance with the nationwide planned protest in Ikiti State. Addressing reporters while monitoring the security situation in the state capital, the state police commissioner, Akin Dele Adeniro, stated that no group had indicated interest in the proposed protest. He added that the state remained peaceful and calm. Additionally, Yoruba leaders of thought condemned the planned nationwide protest in Ikiti arguing that it would disrupt the livelihood and civil activities of citizens. The state youth leaders described the protest as a constitutional right, but that's the protesters to embrace peace for the country's development. The assessment through my observation, Pato, is that the state is relatively peaceful. And people are going about their normal business with that because, number one, the security we are in place on the ground is to ensure that we protect the interests of everybody. Even if there is a protest, even if there is any protest, whether peaceful or not, we are here to provide security for all and sundry. But we thank God there is no violent protest. We, the student leaders of Equity State, hereby disassociate ourselves from the planned faceless peaceful protest that may lead to riot and destructions. While we acknowledge the current Hardship faced by our students and the general public, we urge everyone to remain calm and peaceful. We believe in engagement, the government diplomatically, to address our concern, rather than resorting to the protest that may escalate into violence. By the time you are planning a protest to last for 10 days, there is no doubt that normal, ordinary livelihood in the way we know it will be disrupted. Now, if you are in favor, if you are doing so in support of people that are hungry, there is no way you will tell them to go hungry for 10 days and not pursue their daily duties. There is no way you can disrupt civil activities and civil society for 10 days without it degenerating into unanticipated and undesirable outcomes. And this is why we are solidly with everybody in Nigeria, particularly in Yoruba land, who have spoken out against the planned protests. We don't want it, we don't need it. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.